Okay, so here's the video you've all been waiting for. Um, vegan ebook series video number four out of five, and it is vegan macaroni and cheese. Now, nothing compares to my grandmother's macaroni and cheese, and I have at least 50 people that can vouch for that. It is so amazing. And so I took the memories of a lot of those flavors and just kind of made that dairy free and very accessible to anybody with um, allergy disorders or anything that will cripple you from having a delicious macaroni and cheese. Alright friends, this is the key ingredient, these cashews, which I had to pick out of this bag because I couldn't find any raw cashews. Found them for the cheesecake recipe, so check that out. Um, potatoes, onions, and carrots will be our primary base for getting the flavor we want. Just going to chop up those veggies, and along with our cashews, we are going to dump them all in a bowl, and then we're going to boil the heck out of them. We're gonna boil them all just to soften them up so it's easier to blend. So I don't think I'd actually been soaking those cashews for long. I've just decided to dump them in with the rest of the vegetables, which isn't a problem. You can do what you want. You don't have to have multiple pots going. Just dump it all in one. So after the veggies have boiled for 10 to 15 minutes, you can tell if they're softened. We're gonna take a slotted spoon and just transfer them directly to the blender. So once we have our veggies and our cashews, we are going to take some almond milk and also some of that reserved liquid from the boiled vegetables and pour that into the blender. After we do that, we're just going to season up that mixture. So first, we're going to add a little bit of lemon juice and that gives it kind of that tart, weird, cheesy flavor that we can't define. A little bit of ground mustard, which it didn't come out on camera, but I actually used it, so check the recipe. Also, a little bit of black pepper, freshly ground, some sea salt, and of course, some nutritional yeast. We piled it on. Lots of nutritional yeast, love that stuff. Gives it, I call it vegan Cheeto dust, gives it that flavor that we want. And we are going to blend the heck out of it. Once our cheese sauce is well blended, we will pour it all over our cooked macaroni. This junk tastes so good, like you can mix it up and eat it just like this and it's very similar to um, just unbaked macaroni and cheese. So I decided to bake mine, I wanted a little bit of crunch so I'm putting that mixed up macaroni into a small baking dish and then I'm going to pour more cheese on top because what is life without more cheese especially if it's dairy free it doesn't hurt nobody so pouring that cheese on thick going to add some breadcrumbs and some more nutritional yeast just to have an additional crunch and voila your macaroni and cheese is done it the longer you bake it the crispier those edges are it has that golden orangey color that we love in macaroni and cheese and of course it pairs extremely well with all the other recipes in my vegan Thanksgiving ebook, which you can download for free in the description box below. So you can have all these recipes in the palm of your hand at no charge. So let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.